and welcome to the show today. It's not really a show, it's just me doing some screen casting. If you have some design software like Inkscape or Corel Draw or Illustrator or some laser software like Lightburn, I have Lightburn that runs a laser, but it's also a really nice editor. Having kids design anything relevant to them is a great way to explore the software. I thought I'd do snowflakes because I was on a snowflake kick of designing and making in the wood shop and other things. So I'm going to go through how to, uh, one way, there's always multiple ways and there's multiple possibilities with snowflakes of making a snowflake. For example, that. So let us go to a blank project. And what I did was I designed one branch of my snowflake and so I just grabbed a uh, shape tool popped the shape and I'm looking over here on my list of, of uh, tabs and there's no shape so I gotta go up here to let's see window and come down and find shape properties because this is how I change my shape now you see shape properties popped up over here so shape properties side six nope i want to start with a triangle and you know height and width you see it's changing them okay so got a triangle awesome oops uh let's pop in a yeah septagon and let's kind of stick them together a little bit and i don't know what do we want to add is that a circle it's just a matter of putting, well, I don't want to add a circle. Circles are kind of odd for, so delete that. I just want to draw a triangle of shape. Eh, maybe not. How about a rhombus kind of shape? Well, not a rhombus, but a quadrilateral -ish kind of shape. Okay, well, yep, yep, okay. Um, you know, just, just put together shapes. And again, the shape property tool that you find, make sure you have with Windows, is what you need. Um, let's drop a, I don't know what I want to drop on here. Let's just throw one more thing up there. All right. That's good. Now, here's what you need to do. Now, to laser cut, this would not laser cut nice because there's lines inside of shapes. So we're going to have to, what's called Boolean, Boolean, um, merge them. So I need to select, I don't think I can do it with all of them. Let's see if I can do it with all of them. Tools, no, Boolean union does not work with all of them. But weld shapes might, let's see. No, uh, because, uh, I know why, because my two lines were not a shape. Okay. My, this thing was not actually a closed shape because I didn't connect these two. So, this might be more difficult than I thought. Um, I don't know if it's going to let me union those. Interesting. And that. So I selected the top two. No, it's not going to let me union those. Oh, wow. I didn't think about that. Alrighty, so let's... Uh, Let's make that again. Because it's not a closed shape, it's not letting me do something. So I'm just going to, again, I can, and I'll be able to edit this any way I want to. So, whoop. So I'm going to get rid of that. Stick it in there. I can drag it up here, make it a little bigger. I can make it narrower. I can even rotate it a little bit. Yep, wrong way. Some software's um, positive is one direction and negative is another direction. There, let's go with that there. Okay, now I want to all right, select those two and I want to boolean union those see how that line in between is getting cut out and now i want to select these two uh you can only boolean union two at a time 
That's why sometimes the merge, the weld is better. So, all right. So, I've got a branch for a um, snowflake. Now, here's how simple this can be. There's this nice little tool down here that would create an array of those or a rotation of them. So I'm going to make six copies starting at zero and ending at 360 step by 60 degrees. Okay. Now that's a jumble and if you like that jumble that's fine. But I'm going to spread them out a little bit so i got to find a better center. That's not a good center. Um, I don't mind the 369, but that 94, I'm not liking. So I got to play with this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, oh, let's do it again. I, I went out of it, and I shouldn't have gone out of it. So I gotta play we gotta play with the center. We gotta find the right center. Well, that's looking interesting. And then yeah. Um I kinda want the center down here. That's not bad. Let's make that center even lower. Ooh, that'd be way too low. So 140. Okay. Now let's go lower. So I'm just fiddling, trying to make my center. Now let's close it up a little bit. That's a little too far away. So 400 is too much. So let's go 350. Ooh, I'm starting. Yeah, I like that. Um, now I, I got to get them to touch. So I gotta bring it in a little bit, even more. Yep, yep, too far. Well, I mean, I could actually even create a shape that made them touch, um, that connected everything. So we'll go with that. So you gotta find the center, and don't close out of this until you do. Boom. And now, guess what? I've got to, you know, union all those again. So I'm just going to see if I can do, if weld will work this time. Weld shapes. Yep, weld shapes worked. Awesome. So there is a snowflake to cut. Now here's one thing to notice. This will cut out this hexagon. If I don't want to cut out that hexagon, if I want that to be solid in the middle, or I could put anything in the middle if I wanted something else in the middle here. Um, but if I don't want this hole, that's, I, can, I can get rid of that. So if I select the whole thing and then come up here and ungroup the selection, that now means this is one line. And notice this is not dashed and pulsating. And that that's another one. So I can select that and delete that. Now say I did want to put a hole in there uh, of some kind, whatever shape you want. Um... I mean, the hexagon is, you know, it's, it's the symmetry of it. It's six-fold symmetry. Kind of works. Um, let's just make it smaller. Let's just make it a smaller hole. So I brought it back. I undid my delete. Um, brought it smaller. But now it's off-center. So now I need to select them all. And, oh my gosh, I can never find this when I want it. Align... Oh, I've not selected both of them. There we go. Now let's align objects vertically. Let's try to V center and horizontal center. So I selected both objects and then my align pops up. So there we go. We got a smaller one. So now I can do my laser. Change the speed and the power settings. Um, and send it to a laser. Well, maybe you want to etch some stuff on here. Okay, I don't know. I'm just making things up as I go along, right? Yeah, let's etch some circles in here. But now here's the thing. If I didn't put... No, they're not going to be symmetrical, are they? Um, 
because I didn't I didn't rotate them with them. So how would I make them symmetrical? Oh man, I mean I could, you know, rotating a circle is not going to do anything, right? It's just going to spin it. Um, I gotta find that center point again. So maybe you want to write the center point down um, to create the symmetry of it. Remember this thing? Nope. Let's try this. I don't want to get rid of that. So write the center point down. That's probably a good idea. Oh, I made six of them. There we go. All right. Rotate. I think literally it's... Uh, making it's spinning it around itself uh, what was this like 360 and this was oh yeah that yeah it is um, and this was oh my gosh I forgot what it was oh so close oh so close I think I'm good okay but now here's the thing if I want to etch that and not um, cut it out or I could cut it out if I wanted to I have to change the color so now it's a separate thing and I want to fill it and so then you would now make um, settings for etching your speed and the power so and if you want to hang your snowflakes I guess you're going to have to well you could just loop a uh, string around and end right that would work you might have to cut a hole out of one if you wanted to. Um, so there you go. We're going to cut this out because I'm going to set the black to cutting settings, whatever they are for your laser. And the red I'm going to etch with a fill. And if I could only remember how to show that it's filled. Things I forget when I don't play with it enough. Nope, I don't remember. But there's a way to show that it's that it actually is filled in. Like this would be a whole red circle. Nope. Not remembering. Haven't been on the laser in a while, so sorry about that. Um, but if you change the settings, it should not cut it out. So there you go. There is a snowflake. Enjoy.